why I remind you of you mm -hmm. and uh, at the moment where you see me, because I know you could read me really well. Yeah. You know exactly where I am right now. Yeah, I do. So the thing about you, there's a lot of things about you that remind me of me, but the main one, bro, is I think you have this, and this may seem very basic, I think if you cut us both open, our hearts look exactly the same. I think you have a monster heart of a champion. I think you're a warrior. I just think you have a desire level to be somebody that is bigger than any adversity you're going to hit. Yeah. And and maybe even there's been times when it's been damn close where you are knocked on your ass, but there's something in you, dude, that you want to win so freaking bad. Yeah. And I see it. It's like there's this intensity about you that might even scare some people once in a while. Some people around you are like, hey, dude, are, is, are you okay? Like, this dude's almost dark. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, in a good, to me, that's yeah. a good thing, yeah, yeah. dude. Like, that's the dude I'd want in a foxhole. That's the dude I'd want taking the shot with three seconds left in a game, right? That's what I see in you. The other thing I see in you is you have this crazy desire to improve. So although you're this, you're this really unique combination that I'd like to think I have, really a confident man with a ton of humility. Very rare, bro. Super confident, but humble enough to want mentors. Humble enough to want to uh, copy certain traits in other people. Humble enough to know you don't have it all figured out. Yeah. You know, and also a little bit of a fear. I think you're afraid to be broke. I am too. At this stage, even right now, there's a part of me, I'm terrified I'm going back to broke again. And that keeps me going, bro. Like, you say, well, there's no way you got, hey, brother, right now, I'm telling yeah. you, there's a little part of me right back there somewhere that's still afraid. Right, and I see all those combinations of things in you. And then the last thing, you're very self-aware. I think you're very clued in to what you're really good at and really clued into what you need to get a lot better at. Yeah. To me, those are all things I like admire because you screw stuff up, I screw stuff up. I'm all not the time, perfect. Man. I say stupid things, you say stupid things, especially when I was younger, I yeah. know, all the time. But I admire those things about you. I want those kind of people around me. Yeah, yeah. They make me want to be better. Yeah. And so I think you make people who follow you want to be better. Yeah. I think there's millions of people who watch your content in one way, your show, your Instagrams, your other stuff, come to your driven events that like, they're like, hey brother, I really admire this dude. And in the space of business and self-help or personal development, entrepreneurship, there's, there's not a dominant Latino male yet who's rising up that says, hey, look, there's people that look like me that come where we come from that can win. And to me, you have a huge obligation because you're the front runner for that title right now. That people that grew up, maybe not in this country, they grew up speaking Spanish and they look at you and they're like, hey man, this dude's making the American dream happen. Yeah. That's important. There's a lot of dudes who look like me, right? There's not a lot of dudes who look like you. And that's a huge opportunity for you and responsibility for you.